What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. Super glad you guys decided to stop by today because we're playing Raiders of the Broken Planet. Now, Raiders of the Broken Planet is sort of a mixture between Warframe and ZMR. Now, a lot of people have heard of Warframe and are familiar with it. But ZMR is a game that's on Steam. I believe it's still free to play. And it basically sends waves of enemies at you in different maps. And you can play with other people. And then you can unlock items and things like that. This game from the Steam store heavily reminds me of ZMR. ZMR didn't do fantastic on Steam. It's got a mixed review rating right now. It did a lot better when it first came out, but it fell prey to the almighty microtransaction. It's still a fun game to play, though. So here we go, Raiders of the Broken Planet. We've got our character, Mr. Bunzenshaw. So the graphics look good for the intro movie. A little on the blurry side, but they don't look bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad-looking game thus far. I can definitely see where it's kind of got that Warframe vibe, uh, just from the opening here. And all I mean by that is, is it's got that intergalactic, rogue space element to it. It'd be good if they had gotten, I think, a voice actor here, though, rather than just the text on screen. Because you've got a shot with a little bit of action, and then some text, and it's, it's sort of off-putting a little bit. All right, and we're in control of the player now. Infiltrate the enemy base. We've got our camera, camera settings. Our character here has a very Snake Plissken, Metal Gear look and feel. <laughs> you idiot! So I slid, I would hit shift to try to sprint, and I guess there's no sprint. Because shift rolls or slides, it looks like. So my weapons have been unlocked. You automatically stick to cover. So if you like that in a game, you'll love this. But if that bothers you because you can randomly stick to things as you run by, like that... It's not, it's not terrible. It's not as sticky as some games where your character seems to be magnetized towards every box in the game. Yeah, it really doesn't look that bad at all. So we can move towards him, and we can use Q and E. According to the maps, you need to go in through the main door. The guards are pretty dumb, but they won't open unless they can't see you anymore. Control to aim anywhere, and release control to project Herrick's body to the chosen position. So is that where they're wanting me to go? Is up here? I can't see him. I think we've scared him off. Let's go out and check. <laughs> they're all yours, and they've left the door open. Taking out your enemies or returning to the ground whenever you want by pressing control. So let's do what we just learned here, and let's move back behind these guys. That went horribly. Alright, 
You don't pop in and out of cover as seamless. Okay, now that, it worked there. The cover system is a little wonky. And it really bothers me not to have a sprint key. Another cutscene. Nope. Yeah. If I can't take on two guys with the melee attacks, I don't think he took on that whole room by himself. This guy's like a mixture between Raiden and uh, McCree from Overwatch. In fact, I bet you that's where they got the inspiration from for his character. Well, where is he? They take it in. Gather the team. Change of plans. Oh, was that the first whole mission? Oh, okay. Um, so the prologue consists of the first round which is what we just did. And then hanging by a thread, which is the first like actual mission. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to switch to solo here because I want us to be able to experience this without having to worry about slowing anybody else down or anything. You can buy the first chapter, which is called Alien Myths, and it's $10. Now I do know that there is microtransactions in the game. No! Please no. No! 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 Adventures, what we were in. Raiders. So these are the different raiders in the game. And as you purchase, let's see, you can recruit the character. And they've all got different weapons and different special abilities. And they've got skins that you can earn with in-game currency or purchase with the microtransaction currency. No! So let's see if we can actually purchase one of these characters. This guy's got triple barrel shotgun and this guy has... Okay, this guy's got an assault rifle and that's very much what I would like. I feel like that's gonna be the... and a jetpack too. Okay, so it takes 960 of the wallet currency. Let's take a look at the wallet here. Oh, it's gonna take me out to steam. Okay. Gold is used to recruit new characters, build weapons from existing blueprints, obtain more space for the character's loadout, and lock character and faction cards to keep them uh, from losing them with you when you shuffle. All right, I'm already getting a little bit nervous here with how I'm seeing their, their business model. The fact that you can lose things when you shuffle, that's a cheap practice right there. I mean, it, what it sounds like is is that they're going to do their best to take away what you've already got so that you want to buy it again. And that's garbage in a game, and I won't I won't support games that do do those kinds of practices because it's just it's just looking to prey on the on their audience. Okay, so let's oh, what's the universe? Okay, very cool. So it's got like an in-game encyclopedia. So let's jump right to the adventure. So I'm gonna solo this. Reward is 3,000 in-game gold. Do you want to start the mission? And I do. And I'm interested in a character that has more of a machine gun. I don't really want a sniper rifle. So I'm going for this guy right here. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the movie so that you guys can enjoy that on your own. I don't want to ruin or spoil anything here for you. Well, this game definitely seems more Warframe than ZMR, but it's got more of the production quality of ZMR, uh, which is lesser so than Warframe. And that's unfortunate, because I was really hoping that this game was going to be channeling a little bit more of its Warframe with some of the action of ZMR. Um, but, no, I, at this point, just from the little bit I played, I would say you're better off sticking with Warframe. Which is also free, so it's not even like, you know, you're 
having to settle for a more expensive product or anything else. We got some enemies down here. So this is not an assault rifle. I don't know what this is, but it's almost like a grenade launcher. Let's go ahead and see if we can get on this gun here. Pay attention. They're sending engineers to stop the overhead crane. So this guy here is an engineer that they've sent to stop the overhead crane. So I guess we want to take out the engineers. For a nice seafood dinner and never call again. Whoa. The character's pretty squishy. Let's see if I can get this guy before he does permanent damage to my teammate there. It takes about three shots to take out an enemy. I am so used to a sprint key being attached to the left shift. And enemies will just kind of spawn there, right behind you, coming out of those doors. So you got to really be mindful. There's not necessarily a safe area. Took out that other scientist. Are we on a timer here, or...? Gunplay feels fine. It's it's acceptable. It's not great. It's not terrible. The movement feels hampered some. It, I when I have to focus more on my movement than on my shooting, that's always a a bad indicator to me. I want to be able to just focus on shooting and staying out of the way of fire. But when I have to focus on trying to get around the map, not sticking to certain things, and then it becomes becomes more of a chore to play, and a game shouldn't be a chore to play. So we managed to stay with our compatriot there. We've got a large-scale battle going on here. Yeah, this weapon, it seems like it's fairly powerful, but you really have to lead your shots. Alright, so I'm out of the ammo. So let's move up. So I believe you only get the ammo from... Surprise! Sorry, you only get ammo, I believe, from grappling. So I've replenished my stock fairly well there, and let's push... Well, I'm actually not sure which way is forward. So you run automatically if you build up enough steam.
right, there's one gunship down. Whoa. I don't even know where those guys just came from. Like, seriously, did they just spawn right there? Let's get over here and see if we can snipe these guys a little bit. One more, I believe, over here. I can see him through the wall there. Let's hop on this turret. Finish off this remaining Excellent. gunship. There we go. So we got to do another round of this. So the thing that's bad about set pieces like this is when you're playing a game, sometimes you just want to be able to hop in and get some good action going and play with some friends. And when there's a set piece, that means you have to keep redoing that set piece over and over and over again. Where fighting different waves of enemies can sometimes change up a little bit or be different or fun. Doing the same set piece again and again, because that's what you're going to be doing is replaying this. Okay, I'll try to get out of here. My way here some cover. Whoa, they literally sent more gunships right on top of me. I'm gonna die here. The character is extremely sluggish when he's in that uh, depleted state. Now, they actually spawned me on the other side of all those enemies. So, let's see if we can just skip this. Hold until the elevator arrives. Okay, that's super annoying. There is a gun up here. But you cannot use it on the dropship there. And you're completely exposed. Yeah, you don't want to let them get close to you at all. So that's my jetpack. The jetpack, though, doesn't actually take you any higher other than just that initial launch off the ground. Am I just shooting these? I'm 
out. His name is John C. Did that so I can get some more ammo. We've got one reactor there. Let's head up to the top floor and grab the other two, I think. There we go. Interesting. There's no context command there. I wonder if I have to do the other side first. You gotta be kidding me. Not sure exactly what's going on here, because I, I did the first one, and it's saying I've got to do the other two. Okay, it's blinking white now, so it has something to do, I suppose, with having to kill a certain number of those enemies? Maybe? Possibly? I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not really too sure. The name, by the way, is Sherlock Holmes. Isn't it Sherlock Holmes? SHUT UP! So let's see if by... Eliminating that character now, I can go and get this last transformer to overload. Watch out. They're sending reinforcements. Of course they are. All so I can see we're playing with multiple people. This might be a little bit more enjoyable, especially if you're you're mic'd up and you guys are just having some time to hang out, but to just play this solo, you're not gonna wanna do that. It's it's just not it's just not fun solo. No more flying solo. You need somebody watching your back at all times. You could do it, don't get me wrong. It's not that this game is impossible to solo. Mission failed. All right, guys, so what do I think of this game? I think that this is an um, ambitious title by the developers to try to make something that really does mix Warframe and ZMR. I stand by my first uh, correlation there. The game wants very much to have that space opera feel to it, and it wants the action and the waves and the different enemy types and character upgrades that you see in ZMR. From what I've already seen of their business model down here, the skins, the different weapons, the fact that you can lose things when you're shuffling, it's also mirroring ZMR there, which is not a good thing. Warframe's got a pretty good payment model in place. You can play the game, you can unlock most things in the game just by grinding, and it's a heavy grind, but it's a really fun game to play. The combat is fun, the maps are well developed and well made. I really enjoy playing Warframe, even if there wasn't things to unlock, I would play it just because I enjoy the, the base game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this game's a bit of a, a grind and not in a good way, I just mean like, every time I hear I've gotta last a little longer because the next wave, blah blah blah, I don't feel like, yeah, I feel like, okay, fine. I, after dying, I do not immediately feel like jumping back in. And the really sad thing is, is that I don't even feel like, well, I don't want to jump back in solo, but let me get a couple of my buddies together, and we're going to tackle this game. I don't even feel like that. I kind of just feel like, okay, I played it, I tried it, and it's one of those games where I might kind of convince myself that I might like it, and try it a few more times, but I know myself pretty well by now, and this is one of those games that's going to quickly slip right off the radar, and I'm going to totally forget about it. It may be one of those games that continues to better itself, and in a couple years I pick it back up again, or maybe even six months, I don't know. But right now, the way it is now, I'm not going to be buying the first chapter. I will wait until all the chapters are released, and they let them go for a lower price, or it goes straight up free to play. But I, I don't feel I would want to be an early adopter for what I see here now. And that may be different for you guys, but that's my two cents, and I try to give you guys at least a little bit of an opinion on if I think it's worth it or not. I'd say hold off. You've got a free prologue to play with a free first mission, 
and a few characters to try out. So go ahead and give it a whirl, see what you think about it, uh, unless you're just really, really jammed up for bandwidth. Uh, it is 10 gigabytes for the, the initial download. So guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. I highly recommend if you haven't already, check out Warframe if you're looking for something like this that's free to play. Uh, and if you want something that's a little bit more action heavy, ZMR is an option. Just know they're going to do everything they can to crawl right inside of your wallet and take everything that's in there. You guys have a wonderful day. And as always, I'll see you next time on the next E-Electric Productions. Music